I, I want, honestly, I want the truth. And if John MacArthur did something wrong, if the elders really did do something wrong, if they really knew that child abuse was going on and they covered it up, that is wicked and heinous and it should be punished accordingly. Hey everybody, welcome to Contra Thoughts. We're going to be talking about the John MacArthur, Grace Church, Julie Royce scandal coming up next. All right. How is everybody doing today? Good. I hope. Good. Um, yeah, we're going to be talking about this. And I know some people have talked about it. A lot of people haven't talked about it. There's no law or requirement or anything. Everybody has different motives. Uh, everybody has different reasons why or why not. They'll talk about XYZ thing. Uh, on the onset, I want to say that um, I am biased. And so are you. And so is Julie Royce. And so is John MacArthur. And so is the other YouTubers who... I've watched a few guys who are like, no, nah, I don't know. Other guys are like, oh, I can't believe this. Julie Royce is so right. John MacArthur's so wrong. And then other people have, have thrown uh, Royce under the bus. She's a liar. She's this and this. Okay. Everybody's a sinner though. Everybody's biased. Everybody's a sinner, right? All have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3, 23. Uh, not to mention multiple other passages. Uh, people are have the capacity to lie. Right. People have the capacity to make false accusations, false judgments, um, make mistakes. Right. That's why we need Christ. That's why we need Jesus. OK, uh, honestly, I've been thinking about this for the better part of a week uh, going back and forth. And I don't normally do that. I don't normally think about um, the videos that I produce. <laughs> Maybe that's indicting me. I don't think about them all week long, we'll just say. Uh, I always think about them and the content and how I'll say it and, and uh, how the Lord will hopefully prompt me and, you know, be wise in my words and trying to be against the world, but for the world. So contramundum pro mundo, against it, but for it. Julie Royce is in the world. Uh, John MacArthur's in the world. That doesn't mean, you know, they're unbelievers. Uh, I want to be generous. I really do, because ultimately we have to test the heart. We have to know the fruit. Uh, but we're not the salvation police either, right? Christ is the only one, and the Spirit is the only one who truly knows those who are His. Um, that being said, there's a lot going on, at least it seems. And to just assume that everything that's going on is just kind of fake is, is silly. However, we also cannot be foolish because here's the thing. I don't know about you, but I hate being lied to. Royally hate it. Absolutely hate it. I mean, the last two years, if anything, I literally do not trust the mainstream media whatsoever. Any, almost any of it. None of it. I'll just say none of it. I, I really don't. And that's, again, I've said that before recently. It's not like, oh, except for Newsmax and Fox News or <clears throat> something like that. No, I, I, I just don't. Uh, you can, fine. But I, I am tired of being lied to. Julie Royce, I have zero reason to both trust or not trust her. However, she doesn't have a very good track record for trying to expose uh, John MacArthur. I mean, she's got multiple articles that talk about his wealth and this and this. One was about a $5,000 watch and blah, blah, blah. I never covered that. Uh, but again, it's like, but is, there, is that a sin to have a watch that's expensive? I mean, I'd be curious to see her receipts. I'd be curious to see how much she spends on whatever. Um, but you know, she says she's an investigative journalist. She has some training. Uh, she does do interviews. She does talk to people. That's fine. Uh, but even still, she seems to be plays very fast and loose with the facts. Oftentimes, is that what's happening here? I don't know. I really don't know. We're going to look at the first article that dropped on March 8th. And then we're going to look at the article that dropped yesterday, March 17th. This is all to say, and here, here's the thing. I want you to just, just step back. And if automatically you're thinking, what about victims? What about this? What about abuse? I'm not pro abuse <laughs> or pro victim or pro this or pro that. It's like the thing, the war battle conflict in Ukraine right now, people want to just pick binary sides, which is ironic because we're all, you know, supposedly living in a non-binary culture now and everybody can just be whatever gender they want or no gender at all, which is utterly nonsense. We know that at least people who 
have brains that work and eyes to see know that. But that being said, Ukraine and Russia, and I did a video on them uh, on the situation know, two weeks ago. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on. And I'm not an expert, neither are you, right? I, but again, I don't believe the mainstream media. And it's very suspicious, very suspicious. And I feel like some of these things, lie, some of the same sentiments that I have with the Ukraine stuff lie even with this report with Julie Royce and MacArthur. I don't know, but it's very suspicious. It's very weird. It's very solidarity with this. And yet these people don't support our border here. They don't support uh, protection and guns here, but they'll support it in Ukraine. They don't support this or that here, but they support it there. They don't, I mean, the hypocrisy is thick. It's thick, it's 10 miles thick. And to say, oh, I'm just going to stand with Ukraine. Ukraine's now Russia invaded Ukraine. I get it. And this isn't about Ukraine ultimately. Uh, but the conflict does not go back a year or two. It goes back decades, if not, you want to say centuries. The culture is very different there than it is here or very here, different here than it is there. And so I don't really know. And I'm not going to start speaking about all these things that I have really no idea about. There are really people hurting. There are really women and children being displaced, especially with the husbands or, or dads or whatever, fighting. People are getting taken into, you know, uh, hard labor camps and slavery by, by, by um, traffickers and just buildings are blowing up. People are dying. That is true. That is all true. But that doesn't mean I need to throw my support behind Ukraine. Because the Ukrainian government is utterly corrupt, at least from what I've heard. I don't know, right? This is the same place that Hunter Biden, you know, worked his little deals and made a bunch of money in a company that he shouldn't have been working for and blah, 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 blah. Like, my point is, we need to stop thinking, oh, this is the good guy and this is the bad guy. John MacArthur is the good guy. Julie Royce is the bad guy. Julie Royce is the good guy. John MacArthur is the bad guy. What about a good, better, best? What about a bad, worst worse and worst right these gradations because truthfully again we're all sinners we're all biased we all have problems so the article now again this is this is the first article now i want you to pay very close attention because again julia royce doesn't have a good track record quote unquote exposing john macarthur that doesn't mean john macarthur didn't do anything wrong Although he's very, he's not even involved, really, though he's the pastor here and he does perform the church discipline 20 years ago. But he, which doesn't mean it didn't happen, right? I'm not saying, oh, it's 20 years ago, it didn't happen. It's suspicious that it's now being talked about 20 years later, not five years later, 10 years later, and so on. I mean, why wait for this? Of course, this co coincided with the release of uh, the starting of the Shepherds Conference, which she's done, Julie Royce here has done multiple times over if she cared about the truth and this again i'm biased i'm going to lean john macarthur i'm not going to lean julie royce but it's because i know about john macarthur his ministry that church i've been to that church i've met john macarthur i actually waited uh i did catering when i was in seminary and he was part of the t4g um planning stuff and it was like some private meetings and i did some catering for them gentle kind very gracious guy like behind closed doors with his buddies believe me or not i don't care Point is, most of this stuff, you know, people, oh, he seems like a bully from the pulpit. Well, I'm curious, what is your approach to scripture? Where do you see, do you see Jesus as a bully? What about flipping the tables? What about calling people dogs? What about this, this, and this? No, and I'm not saying Jesus, John MacArthur are the same <laughs> uh, or anything like that, but we are called as Christians to imitate Christ, are we not? Are we not called to be salt and light? Are we not called to proclaim the truth? In this world that we live in of Me Too, where I believe all women, which is nonsense because, well, half the population is still a sinner, right? We can't just say believe all women. And then some people think that and instantly they're all bothered. And it's like, are women sinners too? Yeah. But we've been so force fed the lies of feminism for the better part of 50, 60 years that we've been, our, our, our senses are dulled, right? Or we've got rust and barnacles just crowding up around our brain and we think doesn't mean that's not what's happening here but i have a feeling that's some of what is happening here but i want you to pay very close attention if you've not read these articles go read these articles this is church discipline this is what i've been to every church been a member at every church has done there's nothing wrong with what MacArthur's doing as far as doing the church discipline now i do question why they didn't discipline the husband 
Again, if you don't know this, maybe go back and read these articles. Although if you, you read these articles, you're going to give Julie Royce money because she gets money every time somebody clicks on her videos and uh, staying on the website and advertisements and everything else. Not saying making money's wrong, but she's not in it just for the kindness of her own heart. She's not. Now she might claim she is, but she's not based on her own timing and the 30 plus articles on MacArthur and, you know, one article on Ed Litton about plagiarism. She doesn't ask Ed Litton to step down, right? But Ed Litton's not John MacArthur, is he? But Litton has a lot more power than MacArthur does. Some would argue different. Yet, now she did address the plagiarism, but it was very soft. And I read that article. You can go find it if you want to. But it's just kind of like, well, just, she doesn't ask him to step down. She doesn't tell anything. You know, she does address it. Thankfully, I was, I was, I went in honestly thinking she wouldn't have even addressed it, but she's also buddy, buddy with Karen Swallow Pryor, who's being part of a conference she's doing. Karen Swallow Pryor is not a conservative at all. She doesn't, she has all sorts of other ideas. I mean, she congratulated um, James Merritt's son, who's a same sex uh, dude, same sex attracted dude, gay dude. And he's come out of the closet and she congratulated him. But, and he claims to be a Christian. Well, Karen Swell Pryor claims to be a Christian. So you have to know them by their fruits, right? That's, and again, I want you to know that. Don't just drop a comment and say, oh, you're wrong here. Fine. If you want to think that, great. That's great. I'm going to talk about this and I might be wrong. And if I am wrong, I will make another video when that time comes and say, I apologize, I'm wrong. But until then, the track record isn't good. It's as if I were to tell you, I don't have children. In fact, I'm not even married. I'm living with my girlfriend. The, th the lady I say that is my wife isn't actually my wife. Um, and the children I have pictures of, they're my brother's kids. And I don't actually live in Kentucky. If I told you that, you would instantly think my credibility is shot, right? But I still have good content right? I still have good things. I'm still, you know, this and that. I still love Jesus, right? I'm still a Christian. I still pastor this church, but I'm lying to them about my wife being not my wife. And my children are actually my brother's children. It's like the boy who cries wolf, right? Fear not. I am actually married, legally got married in July 29th, 2007. And I do actually have four biological children. I was there uh, all the way through. And so, yeah, my wife is my wife and my children are my children. And I don't have a brother, at least not biological. So <clears throat> things come out, right? And if somebody picks or lies or changes, uh, we have to question. And Julie Royce has done that. She has edited her thing. She has changed her story. She has played fast and loose with the facts many times. But again, I want to focus just on this because she could still be right. Right. I know Ravi Zacharias, right? Oh, these allegations. I was like, we're not going to believe him. We're not going to believe him. He's so powerful, blah, blah, blah. And he was, he was wrong, right? He was wicked. And he, he did very wicked, uh, uh, sinful things. And MacArthur could be in that camp. He could do all this. I pray not. I really do. Even I'm not a fanboy of MacArthur. I like him less and less, but I still appreciate much of his work. I went to a, a church that was planted by his father in the fifties. That's where I got saved. He wasn't the pastor. But I've been to Shepherd's Conference. I've been to Grace Church for service. I've been to these things. I've been a strong supporter. I'm from Southern California, right near where the church is. Julie Royce writes the article, March 8. John MacArthur shamed excommunicated mother for refusing to take back child abuse. Okay, let's just stop right there. I'm not going to read this whole thing because it's, it's too long. But right there, Julie Royce calls church discipline shaming. Well, we don't live in a shame and honor society. Now, the Bible was written in the East, right? Not the West. So it is different, although the West is informed by the East and things, you know, have changed over the centuries. But church discipline isn't shaming. It is shameful, but it's not shaming. It's a completely different thing. The whole point of church discipline, according to Matthew 18, is you go to a person, as is articulated in this article by Royce, hey, you're in sin. Or is this true? Yeah, it's true. Well, you should repent. You should turn back to Christ. You should stop this, this ongoing sin, right? It's whatever it is, right? It's not that you've sinned and, oh, I messed up. Oh, I got angry. Oh, this or that. And this one and done sort of thing. Hey, will you forgive me to my wife? Now, if I had a repeated act of sin, my wife should talk to me 
right? And I say, no, shut up. I'm the man. I get to do what I want or whatever. I get to be angry. I get to beat my children. I get to whatever, right? Because I'm who I am. She has every right to tell someone else at that point. And then they come. Hey, Richard, what's going on, man? Yeah, no, I'm fine. No, nope, but there's no problem here. I'm, I, just, I just do what I do. It's just what it is. No, I really think, is this true? Is this true? Yes. Yeah, it is. But I, uh, you know, and I push it, push it, push it. And it's time. There should be time, not, a, you know, day one, day two, day three, all in the same week. Usually it's months. And I've been witness to church discipline before. Usually it's, it's, it's some sort of sexual immorality or something like that. This is loving. This isn't shameful, Julie Royce. This isn't shameful. Now, she doesn't agree with church discipline whatsoever. Of course, it's in the Bible. So again, that's more, that's another mark on the con list for Julie Royce and her trustworthiness of being uh, a faithful follower of Christ. This isn't optional. It's not optional. Shaming. Okay. So MacArthur performs church discipline 20 years ago, August 2002, almost 20 years ago. And we can see this is about a man who was teaching right here, 1994 to 2001, David Gray. He's now in prison, by the way. Okay. So he's been convicted. Now, is he guilty? Well, that's what the court says. So we should go with that. However, are people innocent sometimes when they're proven guilty? Yeah. I mean, look at how many people, I mean, I don't have any examples, but we all know of and have, had, have heard of those people, right? People even convicted of murder and such thing. Not to mention, there's the man, uh, it was a killer in, I think, the 70s, son of Sam, terrorized, I believe it was New York. He's a Christian now. He's still in prison, but he's a Christian. People can be forgiven. And that's the other thing I don't see with either of these articles. There is zero forgiveness, none, absolutely none. But if Jesus can forgive this, because again, there's no unforgivable sin. I want us to remember that, please. Because if there is, we're all damned. We really are. Because even if you've looked with lust, you've already committed adultery. And if you've been angry, you've already murdered. Well, did David Gray murder anybody physically? Nobody's certainly gotten angry. Now, the wife says this. Other people have said this. Although, if you go through multiple articles, multiple people are like, I don't really see it. So who are we supposed to believe? Well, briefly. Proverbs 18, 17. The first to state his case seems right until another comes and examines him. This isn't happening at all. And there isn't a second party coming in, whether it's David Gray or MacArthur or somebody else. Now there's other people that Julie Royce is putting in her article, but this isn't a third. That's not a second person being citing in the article. Now she might say that it is, but it's not. There has to be another website who comes and not just attack Julie Royce. And that's not what I want to do. If she's correct, then by all means, MacArthur, the church should repent and take action accordingly. Does that mean MacArthur should step down? No, it doesn't mean he should step down. That's stupid. You know why? Because that's exactly what Julie Royce seems to want. She wants to take him down a peg or two, it seems, based on how many times she's written articles about his house and this and this and this. And it's like, there's no problem here. Solomon, Lot, Job, these people are wealthy, right? Theophilus, who Luke writes to, very wealthy Roman. Priscilla and Aquila in the New Testament, same thing. They, by all accounts, had more than one, probably three or four houses in the region. Rome is one of them. Houses were not cheap. Most people were slaves. Wealth isn't bad, Julie Royce, and I guarantee you, you have way more money than I do. Should I be mad at you? What ultimately it is, is envy. And that's where we see this, even the discrepancies of, of, of critical theory and, and uh, the whole quote unquote woke agenda of people have more and I'm mad at that. So instead of working hard, you're envious. Problematic. Proverbs 18, 17. Do not admit a charge against an elder except for the evidence of two or three witnesses for those who persist in sin, rebuke them in the presence of all. Well, is that not what they did with the wife? Now, again, why they didn't do the husband? Well, they didn't seem to want or need to do the husband. Does that mean they've never performed church discipline on men? No, I guarantee you they have. I know they have. 
So that's not true. It's not a bias here, but they also don't know all the facts. Just like I don't know all the facts now and neither do you and neither does Julie Royce, although she would probably claim otherwise. But we don't know all the facts. We don't have everything. So we don't know, right? We can only go with what we do know. And what we do know is still pretty spotty. It is. Now, again, if MacArthur's wrong and if it's found out without a shadow of a doubt, because right now there's a lot of shadows on this doubt, truth, I don't know, rebuke him in the presence of all so that the rest, the rest may stand in fear and the presence of God in Christ Jesus, of the elect angels, I charge you. Remember, we're in front of not just people. We're in front of God and angels, for goodness sakes. Do you not fear God? John MacArthur. Do you not fear God, Julie Royce? I hope you, listener, fear God. Seriously. But we live in this time that it's all about emotions. And I watched a couple of YouTuber guys, uh, uh, Ruslan, who's very big, one of them, seemingly just swallowing up everything as if he's just being gullible. Maybe he knows more than I do, but I watched the whole thing and he just swallowed it up. Another guy was basically like, I'm done with John MacArthur. I can't believe this, blah, blah, blah. You're believing only one side. What if she's lying? What if Julie Royce is lying? What if the wife is lying? What if he was found actually innocent? And we're going to see more closely that it's talked about further in him doing prison ministry and this and this and this. Maybe he has a psychological problem. David Gray does. Maybe the wife Eileen does. Maybe they both do. None of that's talked about. But their habits of doing X, Y, Z, the Royce report doesn't go into any of the details of the people whatsoever doing these other things. Okay, talking about uh, uh, mental disorders or anything in our age of, you know, everybody's got a mental disorder, emotional disorder, blah, blah, blah. None of that's mentioned. So David Gray's in prison. He was convicted in 2005, though. So three years after the church discipline, because what had happened is Eileen leaves David Gray. She says, hey, he's abusing. Okay. Well, that happens. Although, bear with me here. It's going to be a longer video. I grew up with a girl who fell. She was very young. Uh, she fell. She was at the grocery store. And the clerk saw her and called CPS on her mother. This is in the early 90s in Southern California. Again, California. California is radically liberal. California, believe all women policy. If you get a divorce, 99% of the time, the kids are going to the woman. It's very lopsided. Even if the woman is wicked and screwed up and messed up and everything else they see men as the problem they have for a long time so again put that in your back pocket california is not unbiased at all that doesn't mean they're wrong here either that doesn't mean david gray is right and i'm not saying oh david gray is wrong or he's right and he should blah blah blah, blah. i don't know you don't know either but you know who does know the lord knows god knows okay and if david gray is as wicked and heinous as they say he is, then he deserves to be in prison hands down. But he can also be forgiven, right? I mean, praise God. Can I get an amen? So if David Gray is guilty, right? Then great. That's what he should be, right? He should be in prison. If it's as heinous or worse, then okay. But if it's not, well, then okay. But again, the, the elders of the church didn't have all the facts. Now, it does go through and say they were approached with this, they were approached with this, and so on and so forth. Okay. However, they don't have the habit, and this is the other thing. If somebody has the habit of lying, you're not going to believe anything they say, right? Or somebody has the habit of theft, you're going to be questioning them more regularly. John MacArthur, it says an 8,000 person church. How many times has this happened in the past? Uh, I mean, I don't know, <laughs> right? Is it reported? Because Julie Royce, again, she doesn't like MacArthur, what they do, doesn't like the patriarchy, doesn't like complementarianism, doesn't like uh, the, the authority of the scripture, doesn't like his views on anything, at least it seems. Maybe she would agree on some stuff. But regardless, the way she picks at the littlest things again, makes it very suspicious for me. Okay, so enough about Julie Royce, just in general. She obtained a court order to say David's visits to be monitored, right? She says the church subjected her to spiritual abuse. That's a very suspicious term. What is spiritual abuse? I mean, it's kind of like this mental thing, like mental hurt. So file, charges are filed accordingly.
but it goes through and talks about how other people visited her or him rather. Okay. Carrie Hardy is one who's now a pastor at Twin City Bible Church. Eileen refused to take David back. So she separates and is there and yet isn't um, reconciled. Now, again, they say in the article, even Julie Royce says, you need to take your husband back. Suffer for Christ. Now, they're, they, again, do they know that he's child abusing these children? Well, she doesn't even know and says <laughs> until later. So how could they know? She lives in the same house, right? Now, he does. it does say that he, is, he admits to um, trying to suffocate a child and this and this and this. Again, I don't, I don't know all the details, and you, you don't either. You can make the judgments and say, I'm throwing my John MacArthur study Bible out the window, or I'm going to believe everything Julie Royce says, or Julie Royce is a wicked women preacher, right, or whatever. But again, there's other things that draw into suspicion, including her support for Judson University, which is not at all a conservative uh, university. She's even having a conference there that's coming up to restore the church, it says. Right up here restore conference months between her shamings she says this multiple times in fact let's just do this 10 times shame is in this article 10 times not church discipline shaming and it's like uh okay except for it's not shaming right it's church discipline now should david have been church discipline too maybe but again, this is 20 years ago. We know more now than we did then. And there's multiple dates, 2003, 2005, 2007, 2018, on and on and on and on and on. And it's like, why is this coming out now, Julie Royce? Why are we waiting? Why did you wait so long to tell us this? Despite the mandated California law to report child abuse, GCC never reported David Gray's abuse to authorities. Okay. But like with my friend, uh, who's a child, she's my age now. She didn't, she wasn't being abused, right? But the lady at the supermarket thought she was. Another instance, also in Southern California, although they might've moved at this point, also the early nineties, one girl, her and her sister, loving parents, really kind parents, to my knowledge, right? We were family friends. So, you know, we can only know how, know so much, but she would go to school no problem, get on the bus, and then come home with bruises. And she admitted, or rather convicted, accused, there it is, accused her parents of abuse. But were they doing it? No. Were they convicted? Yes. Was she taken away? Yes. And this is a child. So this full-grown woman, Eileen Gray, she could be totally lying, right? But there's other testimony. Okay, but these other two instances that I personally have, oh, I understand it's anecdotal, blah, 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 but it happens is my point. And I refuse to just swallow up the Kool-Aid of either John MacArthur, totally right, he's a sinless, perfect man, the Pope of evangelicalism, or swallow up and say, well, screw John MacArthur, forget John MacArthur, I'm going to believe everything Julie Roy says. If you want to do that, fine, I'm urging you to be against that to be against the world and the world system we have an enemy who likes to deceive and likes to 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 kill and destroy he loves nothing more than discord have nothing to do with irreverent silly myths rather train yourself for godliness first timothy 4 says proverbs 12 18 the words of a reckless pierce like swords but the tongue of the wise brings healing Okay. Is Julie Royce being reckless? Well, she's been reckless in the past. Is she reckless now? It's hard to say. I really don't know. She seems to be, I mean, she is at least calling this shaming when it's not, it's church discipline. The Bible doesn't talk about shaming at all, but I digress. Proverbs 16, 28, a perverse person stirs up conflict and gossip separates close friends. A dishonest man spreads strife and whispers and a whisperer separates close friends. It's Proverbs 16, 28. Titus 3.10, warn a divisive person and then warn them a second time and after that have nothing to do with it. How do we know? Really, how do we know? I don't know. You don't know. Julie Royce doesn't know. She wasn't there. Oh, I've talked to these people. What if they're lying? Do you not ever take that into consideration? What if they're telling the truth? Again, <laughs> 
Let's not forget, though. And I'd be curious what Julie Royce thinks about this one. But the cowardly and unbelieving, the abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars, their place will be the lake of fire that burns with fire and sulfur. This is the second death. Revelation 21, 8. Does that not scare you? Somebody's lying here, right? Somebody's lying. I could be lying, even reporting what is being told as true, right? Accidental lying. I, I want, honestly, I want the truth. And if John MacArthur did something wrong, if the elders really did do something wrong, if they really knew that child abuse was going on and they covered it up, that is wicked and heinous and it should be punished accordingly. But if it's not, and Julie Royce is lying, and she's just wanting to stir up strife, and she's just wanting to have this contention to get herself clicks, all in the name of pious whatever. Because again, people cover up sexual stuff. Ravi Zacharias, right? People also cover up all sorts of heinous evil. Fill in the blank, 50 more million people, <laughs> right? Including yourself, including me. Oh, I got caught. Oh, I, oh, that's not mine. Oh, that's my friends. Oh, uh, I didn't. Well, I'm not high. Oh, uh, these aren't my pants. <laughs> I had a friend who was LAPD and he would stop guys, you know, frisk them. One guy told him one time, his, these weren't his pants. He was wearing somebody else's pants when, you know, my, my friend uh, found drugs on him. Anyway. Let's not forget 1 John 2. I love 1 John. 1 John 1, 1 John 2. These things I have written to you so that you may not sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. And he himself is a propitiation for our sins, and not for our sins, but that of the whole world. By this we know that we have no by this by this we know that we know him if we keep his commandments. Who says, I know him and does not keep his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. We have to know people by their fruits. Right? We can't ultimately know what's happening in any given situation. Even with our own hearts, our own hearts are desperately wicked. Julie Royce and John MacArthur and Carrie Hardy and Bill Shannon and these other people that are involved, including the husband and wife, are not exempt from this. They're not exempt from this, people. And I want you to just step back. Don't be so emotional. Don't get sucked into it and think, oh, I can't believe this is just a hit job. It's a hack job. And go to John MacArthur's side. He could have done something wrong here. Or the overall, again, he didn't have any engagement. It's a church of 8,000 people. I barely know what's happening in the church that I pastor that's less than 50. Okay. So a church of 8,000? Come on. Let's have a little bit of grace here. But further still, she says that even instances where Carrie Hardy was, uh, court records show Carrie Hardy's case was dismissed and not prosecuted in 2005. 15 years ago, February 2005. So they did know about the abuse. And yet the officers, and it was shown to them it was reported i mean it says carrie hardy was charged with two misdemeanors failing to report child abuse and intimidating a witness eileen gray the other pastor bill shannon who currently leads the biblical counseling ministry was not charged but ordered to appear in a city attorney but court records show hardy's case was dismissed and not prosecuted the reason hardy's case was dismissed is not clear there's a lot of vagueness in this article the second article shows similarly talking more things, more specifically about David Gray and his support. There's one thing from 2017, December 22nd. He has a um, ministry in prison. And he does admit, again, he does admit to anger and abuse of children. Does that mean everything that's been charged against him is right and correct? I don't know. I, I mean, honestly... No, it doesn't. It doesn't mean that it is and doesn't mean it doesn't, isn't, rather. There's high, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I won't go there. The point is, Julie Royce doesn't see church discipline correctly, calls it shaming, right? Not to mention the multiple other articles, she attacks John, John MacArthur for a $5,000 watch, which even at that point, I remember hearing about it. I'm like, what if it was a gift? Well, it turns out it was a gift from the congregation. 
for 50 years of faithful ministry. 50 years. John MacArthur's been in the pulpit since 1969. If this was a habit of his, we would know more, wouldn't we? We'd have more accounts and there'd be more public things and LAPD and others would already have put him away. Of course, writing other articles about, you know, the mishandling of COVID and you should hide in your houses. No, no, we were lied to, Julie Royce. Stop gobbling up the mainstream media lies. They're lying to you too. They're not your friend, okay? So don't, no, stop. The mainstream media is lying. They've been lying for decades. Are you lying here? Is John MacArthur and the church lying here? I honestly don't know. I really don't know. But what we can do is pray for the situation. Honestly, oh, yeah, pray, okay. But think about prayer. You're imploring the God who upholds all things by the word of his power. The God who is infinite, the God who is massive and expands to the highest heights of the heavens and the deepest depths. Prayer is no small thing. We make it a small thing. Oh, I guess we, all, we get, all we can do is pray. All we can do is pray. We can talk to the God who created everything by the breath of his mouth in an instant, just snapped it into creation created time itself who became a man and dwelt among us who lived 30 odd years and died on a cross an excruciating painful bloody cross for your sin and mine and then resurrected defeating death defeating sin we can pray to that god oh okay yeah yeah we can pray to that god amen and amen we can pray to that god we don't deserve it at all. Julie Royce, a sinner. John MacArthur, a sinner. Bill Shannon, Hardy, the wife, the husband, all sinners. I'm a sinner. You're a sinner. All have fallen short of God's glory. And if we're going to treat some sin worse than others in the sense of act, acting as if it's unforgivable, because there's zero mention of redemption or forgiveness here. None. Julie Royce offers no hope for the gospel. None. You could read this article and you would say, this woman isn't even a Christian. A secular person would read this and think, well, yeah, this is some random article from MSNBC, CNN, whatever. But she offers no hope, no forgiveness of actual tangible. If David Gray is as wicked as they say he is, which is possible that he is. Do I know that? No. Do you know that? No. Does Julie Royce know that? No. Only he knows that. And even here, he talks about it happened so fast. It sounds like some sort of mental thing. Point is, this is real. Sin is real. Don't rate your sin. And, well, I'm better than this person. That is lies. Because all have sinned. All have gone astray. Like sheep, we've all gone to our own way. 1 Peter 2. He who committed no sin. Neither was deceit found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he did not revile in return. When he suffered, he did not threaten, but continued entrusting himself to the one who judges justly. God will judge, ladies and gentlemen. California, not perfect judges. Kentucky, wherever you live, wherever, doesn't matter, not perfect judges. Not even close. They can judge rightly. They could judge wrongly. They could have a mix of both. He himself bore our sins in his body on the tree. Oh, people, let this sink in, please. Let this sink in. That we might die to sin and live to righteousness. By his wounds, you were healed. For you were like sheep. For you were like sheep, but now have returned to the shepherd and overseer of your souls. By his wounds, we are healed, ladies and gentlemen. Because if it's up to your own goodness, if it's up to John MacArthur's righteousness or Julie Roy's perfection, they're damned. They're utterly, doubly damned. And so are you. So am I. Let that sink in. Look at your own heart. Look at the wickedness that boils up in you. Sexual immorality, idolatry, sorcery, enmity, strife. And yet the kindness and the mercy of our Lord doesn't come on your works. doesn't come on how much investigative reporting you're doing or how many sermons you preach or how many conferences you have. 
but sheer by his grace and his mercy. Please, if you don't know Christ, you can be forgiven. You really can. And even if you do something heinous like child abuse and molestation and just oh, gross, wicked, nasty, terrible stuff, which the leftists, by the way, totally affirm in many respects. There are groups out there that affirm this sort of behavior. It's just not here yet. But 20, 30 years ago, we said, oh, yo, gross, nasty, you know, two dudes. Well, now that's acceptable, isn't it? It's the continuing coarsening of society. God knows who's guilty. God knows who's lying. He does. There is a judge, and he will judge on the last day. Be found in Christ. Otherwise, you will hold up your filthy rags and say, this is all I have, Lord. And he will say, depart from me. I never knew you.